Oh, yes. Okay, guys. The new squat shoes are here. These are the Reebok CrossFit LTR size 13. Um, I don't like using my Asics for squatting. They just, they're a little bit too shifty at the bottom. But those, these have a perfectly flat sole, as you could see. And yeah, they're, they were on sale. I think they were like 60 bucks. So it was a nice little steal. And I got something else to show you. One second. Now, in all seriousness, I love, I, I, when I was a kid, I loved Pokemon. It was like the, it was the first real game that got me like in, you know, I think it was blue version. Um, and I played Pokemon when I was like six, uh, all the way up to like fire red and leaf green. If you people know what I'm talking about. If you're a little bit older, you still might know what I'm talking about. But uh, for all of you guys that are like my generation, you'll understand what I mean. But here, I'm going to show you guys something that is pretty damn amazing. My favorite Pokemon was Dragonite, right? Oh, oh Lord. I don't, I don't even give a shit, you know, that like, uh, that I'm letting you guys know I play this. But, uh, behold. Right? Holy shit! Okay, that's it. Um, next time I'm gonna see you guys, we're gonna go to the gym. Talk to you soon. went back down to do a set of 575 for five um, and I was kind of tired this fort was this set was kind of brute forced um, I wasn't getting myself right into the position I want to usually get into I mean I wasn't really taking as much slack out of the bar as I usually should um, you'll see an example in this next clip of Filipino Thunder um, Marcus aka Filipino Thunder he's a guy that does this really really well uh, in the fact that he actually stacks his joints well before he deadlifts and he really gets himself to a deep position before he pulls. Now I usually do this um, when I'm working with heavier weight, but I was so fatigued that I really just wanted to get the bar up, which is not something you guys want to do. Even when you're fatigued, try and lock in your form and make sure you're doing things the right way. Ugh. All right guys, so I just got done training at Super Training. Um, it was Silent Mike's birthday today, I think he's 28 years old, so we ate some cake. 
but workout went well. Uh, again, like I mentioned in my last video, gotta choose your battles. Today, since um, I did the tactical, what's his name, real world tacticals workout yesterday, um, and I did heavy deadlifts, and I have jujitsu, I didn't think it'd be smart to try and do a lot of arm work today. So I really actually didn't do any bicep work today. I just did deadlift and some chest supported rows. And now I'm heading to jujitsu to go roll for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna eat, sleep, and that's gonna be the end of the vlog. I might talk about something during this vlog, I don't know what, but for now you guys are gonna see some BJJ and we'll see what happens next. All right guys, hopefully you can see me. Um, but I had to stop, I had a little bit of time. And I didn't really have much food between lifting and jujitsu, so I stopped at a gas station. I got some essentials. I don't know the macros on these, but I knew I needed some fat, I needed some carbs, I needed some protein. So I grabbed this. Okay, so that's pretty much fat. It's like bacon wrapped cheese. Some of this stuff. It's like a. It's called tortellini pomodoro salad. I got a Gatorade, and I got some of these. I'm gonna scarf these down. Oh yeah, and beef jerky. So I'm going to scarf all of this stuff down, and then I'm going to go roll. All right guys, I'm back home, but uh, a funny line came to me. It was, uh, you remember the Avengers? When, I don't know, I think it was Black Widow asked the Hulk, uh, how do you control her, something like that, and he's like, I'm always mad. Well, you know, the thing is, I'm literally always sore. Always sore. Uh, today, the point of this workout was, and the point of this whole training cycle, is since since I'm not really having days where I concentrate on going heavy, um, on certain days, like the last week when I worked up to a 700 for a single, um, and today when I worked up to, uh, I did 635 for a rep PR double. I've never done 635 for a double, and then I did 685 for a double also. That's also a rep PR. The point of that is just so I can, you know, so that my body remembers what it's like to push high intensity work, work in the high 80s, high, high 80s, low 90s. And then I went down, I did 575 for a set of five. Uh, that is much more than what I expected today. Um, I don't know if the video's out yet. I don't think it's out yet, but uh, because yesterday was the training session with the real world tactical, where we went through a bunch of movements that I really haven't done before or that I never trained. So I was really, really, really fatigued. But I'm very, very happy with how I was able to perform today under that fatigue. Um, and I'm, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit surprising to me, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's a testament to the idea that, you know, as long as you put in a good amount of work, uh, even if you feel sore and you feel tired, you you should always just try and head in and do do what you just just go into the gym and do something and then you might be able to work more than what you even thought you could rather than feeling sore and maybe staying at home and uh, because of the soreness and how tired you feel you don't end up going even though you might have actually been able to perform pretty pretty well once i got my blood flowing everything just kind of everything just kind of went so 
training session was good. Um, today, if I didn't do that training session yesterday with uh, Real World Tactical, um, or his name is actually Tony, I believe, uh, I would have done three sets of 575 by 5. Uh, now, let's talk about those three sets, because they were actually, the, the form was really, well, the one set I did, the form was horrible. I was talking to Marcus, a.k.a. Filipino Thunder. Uh, I'll put a clip of uh, a set of his deadlifts here. Now, Marcus is injured, but he has a really strong deadlift. I'm pretty sure he could deadlift in his some 40s, 50s, probably. Um, but he has really, really, really good deadlift form. Uh, now, the problem with my deadlift form in this clip is that I wasn't stacking my knees over my ankles. Uh, I was just trying to rush through the deadlift because I was so fatigued, so I kind of just wanted to get it out of the way, and I wasn't thinking as much. And I mean, ideally, you don't even want to think that much, but you want to make sure that you plug in your form um, as to not get yourself injured or cause anything dangerous to happen, which I wasn't doing. Uh, I wasn't stacking. My knees were coming over the bar a little bit, and I was just kind of muscling things at that 575. Or was it 565? I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm going to be trying to have a little bit more control in the training sessions to come when it comes to my deadlifts. Uh, in terms of my setup, taking things a little bit slower, but still utilizing just as much force. Now lastly, in terms of the jujitsu, I only got one clip for you guys today, but uh, I got my new gi, which is I'm really happy about. Um, and yeah, that, the guy I rolled with was Jack, he's a black belt. People make fun of Jack because uh, he, when he rolls, he, he's a big guy. He's a black belt and he's, he's a rough dude. They kind of call it Jack Jitsu or like prison Jiu Jitsu. It's, it's kind of funny, but uh, it's always fun to roll with Jack. It was a good roll today, and, but my body is beat. My body is really, really beat. And I have to do Jiu Jitsu again tomorrow, Wednesday morning. So yeah, uh, that's all. Hopefully this video is going to be posted on uh, Tuesday afternoon, maybe Wednesday morning. And yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Question of the day for you guys. Uh, when when you feel tired, when you feel sore, when you feel like you've had a lot of fatigue, um, do, do you try and work through it? And, and I, I don't mean like working through an injury, I mean working through actual fatigue. Your muscles are sore, your body is tired, you feel like you need to sleep. Do you guys, what, what do you guys do to fix that issue? Do you work through it or do you stay away from the gym or just not go in at all? I think you should start trying to head in and see what you can do, see what you can get away with. But yeah, that's question of the day. Pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video if you like the video because I know you like the video, so go to like the video. This is Insane of the Centaur, Eniac from Break the Bar, Be an Anomaly, and I will talk to you all very, very soon.